Hey everybody, it's Al with Bobcat. So today I wanted to pick up on more surfacing topics and ways you can use uh, different surfacing options in Bobcat to create different results. Uh, if you watched the previous sweet video, uh, we had swept a profile around these inside shapes and we had the same profile on the inside and the outside shapes. In this example, what we want to look at doing is blending two different profiles. So as you can see, I have a one inch radius on this profile here and I have a one and a half inch radius on this profile here. So what we're going to do is we're going to sweep a surface along this edge with one of them and we're going to sweep a surface along this edge with another one and then where they intersect we're going to blend them with a radius. So a couple of things that I want to do, I'm just going to uh, delete these other sets of geometry because I, I really don't need them on the screen. This radius here I'm just going to measure it and then uh, what I'm going to do is just delete it and get rid of it. Okay. So now as far as uh, these two profiles here, what I want to do is I want to extend them out so I'll choose trim screen and I'm going to extend this line out past there, this one past there, this arc past there, and then this arc past there. Okay, so now I have all the geometry necessary to go ahead and generate some of my surfacing. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'll do purple. All right, so we're going to do surface sweep. And uh, just like in the other video, we'll select our attachment point, and then we're going to select our profile. And then from here, we're going to select our chain. And here you can see we have our first swept surface generated. Okay. So now we're going to repeat that process on the top. So we're going to pick our attachment point, so, uh, select our profile. And then from here, we're going to pick this, uh, this radius here. Now, what I want is I want both of these uh, curves facing the same way and uh, right now you can see it's inverted just like I talked about in the other video if, it, if it's going if the radius is going the wrong way you just need your second uh, chain you need to uh, select in the opposite direction so let's do that again so we'll come in here pick our attachment point select our profile number one and then this time we'll select in this direction and now you can see that the profile is being uh, generated facing you. So again, depending on the direction of the second chain will affect which side your curve goes to uh, or your, your first profile. So you can see we have both of these. We have our uh, inch and a half radius facing this way and we have our one inch radius facing that way. Okay. So now, now that we have our surfaces done, Let's turn everything else off and what we want to do is we want to trim away these outside pieces and, and there's a couple of ways to do that um, in this case I'm going to do a solid add and I'll select both my surfaces right click OK and what that has done is it's um, boolean them or add, added them together once I've done that then I can go to utility stitching unstitch solid to surfaces and that will break them down to the individual surfaces and now I can just select on the pieces that I don't want. So I don't want these pieces sticking out on the end. I just select them and delete them. Okay, delete on my keyboard is what I use, but there's also a trash can icon up here. So now that I have these uh, surfaces generated the way that I want, uh, the next thing I need to do is create a fillet through there. Now you do have solid fillet, that's one of the options, but in this case I'm going to use surface fillet. I'm going to define my radius of my fillet select my two surfaces and then I get a nice blend in between there one two and then I get a nice blend in between there so now I'm able to generate uh, the curvature that I was looking for for these two profiles <clears throat> you know if I wanted what I could do is uh, you know copy it around a couple of other steps for capping off the tops and bottoms but for today's video those are the topics that I wanted to talk about if there are any questions comments uh, or feedback please feel free to reply back to the thread the Facebook or the YouTube page and we'll catch you in the next video thank you so much guys <laughs>